Hey guys, what's going on today? It's Cold Plays here, and today we are back with another episode of my Dire Wolf 20 Let's Play of the Feed Beast Pack. So today I think we're going to go ahead and work on our, or work on an automatic farm, that way we can go ahead and get some crops going. Uh, I am feeling better today, as you guys can hear, my voice sounds at least a little bit better, so that is good. Um, so we are going to go ahead and go the Mine Factory Reloaded Route and use the Planter from there and the Harvester. So first of all, we're gonna. I already ran the line, or I haven't ran the line, but I ran where it needs to go. So it's uh, hooking up, or will hook up through my system downstairs. And as you guys can see, I upgraded my tools and everything, so that's good. Uh, pretty soon, I think we need to work on botania, or whatever it is that flower thing, so I can uh, go ahead and get some good armor. But anyways, you guys can see right there will lead up to my where my harvester will go, and that will be my planter block. So that's good we got that laid out so I'm gonna go ahead and make them they're not that hard to make we're gonna need some plastic sheets um, we're gonna make the what is it the planter first so we're gonna need some flower pots uh, I made up some clay for this um, oh yeah I wanna show you guys these new work <clears throat> these work tables that forestry puts in they're pretty cool because they're j they work just like a crafting table but they will save uh, recipes for you I need to save that but um so then all you have to do like say you wanna it'll save like the last nine you've done but if you right click them it'll like lock them in as you can see like the little lock and then they'll be in there forever all you have to do is place them and you have to have the items in this little inventory but it is really good if you craft an item a lot like I will be tender we'll be using item conduits and energy conduits pretty often so made them in there and then I also have this one which has machine chat the machine chat chassis and the basic capacitor in there right now and some other stuff I just made Okay, so we are going to make two flower pots, if I can get that out of there. So just need that. And then throw that in there, make two of those, take that back out. Um, what else do we need for this? Um, we need the piston. Uh, we should have everything we need to make the piston right now. So click that. And then that. Um, oh yeah, we gotta... I'm just gonna use the normal work table for actually the normal crafting station just because I have the stuff in my inventory and I don't really need it in there. Alright, so I've got a piston. Go ahead and take all that back out. Alright, um, where did my planter go? There we go. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Um, we need to make one of these, or two of these actually. I'm just gonna, I think I need six in total between this one and the other one. Actually, I did not need six. I need like two but whatever don't worry about that um and then I should be able to make it all right there we go now we got the planter uh, we will need the harvester harvester um, here we go uh, we're gonna need a golden axe some shears um, I can go ahead and make those right now and I need to grab some gold all right Go ahead and make the axe. <clears throat> All right. Um, I think I should be able to make that. Um, what am I missing? Um, oh yeah, it's the stuff's not stackable. So I'll just place that in there, that in there, that right there, and um, one of these. All right. Now we got the harvester and the planter, and now we're just gonna need um. Let me look up Mine Factory Reloaded, or right there. All right, we're gonna need one of these uh, precision sledgehammer that'll help us out, and we will need some Mine Factory Reloaded upgrades. Uh, mine Factory. If I can stop misspelling, uh, I'm not sure which one we're gonna need, so I think we're just gonna go ahead and place it really quick, and then we'll figure out which ones we're gonna need after that. So we're going to go down here. We're just going to place this block of water right there. Alright, so if we place the planter right there, we should be good. And uh, we're going to want to put this one right here. So I don't need that block. Alright, so put the harvester that way. Now we're going to take out this sledgehammer. And it should show us that's off. That's not the way I want that. So, um, how do I just pick X? Alright. Place that down. So, we actually want it to go from this way. So, we're just going to place that on top. And then it should be working now. Alright. 
So as you can see, uh, this will show you the radius of which it will harvest and or plant as in this one. And this one, they're, they start off as a 3x3, three three, so that's why we're going to need some upgrade. So I'm going to go ahead and look at this. Um, so we're going to need, I think we're going to need the 3 upgrade one. So we're going to grab an iron one and see if that works. Uh, let's see how to make one of those. So just iron, some raw plastic, and a golden nugget. So should have some golden nuggets, maybe not. Um, I can just grab a piece of gold real quick. Um, I don't know why it's lagging out. Um, there we go. Alright, so grab a piece of nugget, or a piece of gold. Go ahead and make that into some nuggets. Uh, what else? We need some raw plastic, which is out here. Alright, and then we should be able to make one of those. Not that one, this one. Uh, I don't know why I did that in the work table. Should do it over here. Okay, so what am I missing? <clears throat> I'm gonna figure out what I'm missing. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I was just missing a little bit of iron. So let's go ahead and try and make this. Um, I'm just gonna grab one for right now, and then hopefully if that will work, then we'll come back and throw the other one in. All right. So now let's grab our hammer. And that's perfect. So we're going to go make another one of those. It will just be sitting in here. And we'll grab that. And we'll throw that in our planter. And then we should go ahead and start making... Well, actually, we're not quite yet there. <clears throat> there. As you can tell, my voice is still a little bit bad. But it's not as bad as it was. Okay, so... Um, I guess we need to go ahead and run the lines now. So... Uh, I'm not sure where I'm going to put the item conduits yet, but I do know I need to connect this to over there somehow, so, um, let me look, um, I can just go back here, really, um, let's hop up here, um, let me get some blocks, <clears throat> alright, there we go, uh, this should run back, uh, probably about right here, should be around where I need to be. Alright, so... Okay, perfect. So, just come back one more block. And... Go ahead and run the line. All the way through here. Oh, they don't want that one. Uh, do I have my get around? Good, I do. Grab that. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and get in bat mode. We will probably need it soon. I don't know how to s favorite these. I need to figure that out. Um, do I have a normal bat? There we go. Uh, I do know how to click the thing to get into it, but I don't know how to actually uh, favorite them quite yet. So, got to figure that out. Um, okay, so where's my, li <clears throat> my line? Um, it needs to go right here. And then this one needs to run also into that, so right to there. Um, I need to make sure that it is set up right before I finish doing this. Um, it's lagging a little bit. I'm not sure why. I'm going to pause it for a second. Oh, never mind. Uh, go ahead and set that to insert. Always active. Wait, yeah, always active without redstone. Okay, go ahead and disconnect these now. Alright, that one should be operational. And then we just need to set this one up. So go ahead and, no, not like that. Okay, place that. Go ahead and change this to input, or not to insert. Uh, always active. Yeah, that's what we want. <laughs> Alright, so I'm not sure if we're gonna have enough line actually. Um let me see, hopefully we will. But it doesn't look like we're gonna. If not, I'll be back. Oh wow, we have two extra. <clears throat> extra. Oh my gosh, my voice is still pretty bad. Alright, so I'm just gonna fly through. Yeah, I can't fit. Oh yeah, I need to show you guys that too. So while I'm down here. Uh, if I need to back in a normal person, actually, I can just do that a different way. Uh, here we go. 
All right. So. As you guys can see, um, I did stop my cobblestone generator up there. So what I have going right here is a few little things from uh, thermal expansion. So pretty much I have an aqueous, aqueous accumulator here, and then I just have it surrounded by water. And then I have an igneous extruder, and I have it set up to make me smooth stone. That way I don't have to smelt it, smelt cobble and all that. And I also, once I have a a way to get a bunch of lava I will be making obsidian with this so it's a pretty good setup and I figured why not I'm gonna need cobblestone anyways right now so it's pretty good for me but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put my cobble in there because I have some smooth stone on me anyways but yeah that's pretty good uh, it's pretty easy to make you can just look it up in any eye if you need it um alright so we're gonna head outside and go ahead I need some seeds we're gonna clear out my inventory right now we're not gonna worry too much about the item components quite yet I uh, will be working on that as soon as I get the stuff running alright uh, I will make it go faster eventually too maybe with Botania or something but right now we don't need that alright so I think we're gonna have one line of potatoes one line of seeds and one line of carrots I think we're actually gonna switch out the seeds and the carrots actually um, there we go, and then the carrots will be, <clears throat> will go there. All right, so this should be working. Um, do I want? I don't. No, I don't want consume stack on. All right, so now we throw these in here, and there we go. It will start planting. So that's working. Um, oh yeah, and it automatically does that. All right, the harvester should actually already be good. So that looks like it's working. So now we just need to set up some un item conduits. So I think really we're just gonna use some barrels for this because we don't really need um we don't really have anywhere else to put them right now. So barrels would be pretty good. Um, just gonna grab these and wood. Grab a few barrels. Um, I think we'll need four barrels. Um, there we go. Uh, we're going to have to make a few chests. There we go. Alright, now let's make some barrels. Alright, so now we got four barrels. Alright, so really I can just set these right here. And that fits perfect. So now we need uh, one of each item. I'm going to go grab that. Uh, we need a seed out of here. I don't know why my mouse is being really, uh, really s not sensitive, like the opposite of sensitive. Like it's not working for anything, really. Alright, um, we're missing wheat. We need wheat. Alright, um, there we go. <clears throat> now we just need to set this up. If my right click will work, my right click will. Oh, I'm doing it wrong. That's why it's not working. I'm shift right clicking. I don't know why. All right, so there we go. Now we need to shift right click and lock all of these. And there we go. Now I should. I'm pretty sure I just need to run some item conduits down through here. Uh, we're gonna get into Ender Mini, I think. All right. Uh, I've been loving my sword lately, just so you guys know. My sword is freaking amazing. Like it is unbelievably good. Like, I, I just can't even believe it. Um, okay. I'm gonna finish this, and then I'll talk about my sword. And why I'm loving it. Uh, do I have my Yetta Wrench? Here we go. Alright, um... I need to set that on insert only. Insert only. Insert only. Alright. Oh. Uh, let's get in the bat, I guess. Um... Let's get in a fire bat. It's alright. Okay, so I'm gonna wait till that goes. Okay, morph is done. If I can fly. Um. Okay, there we go. Uh, can I not fit? Ah, I can't fit through that. Uh, I guess we'll go around really quick. Yeah. Can't fly very good. Alright. Now.
Oh, I need to pick those. I actually need to automate that pretty soon. That'd be nice. All right, so oh, it's actually already working. I think it has stuff in it. So um, I will make sure that it's working. Uh, how do I? I use Shift. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Extract. I think it's good, actually. Huh. Well, that's cool. Um. Oh, that's not on. Is it? How do I make it see all? I want to see everything. Here we go. Okay, so we're gonna put some dirt back down. Go ahead and get back into our normal morph. But so yeah, my sword is really awesome. I can literally one shot Enderman. He's Enderminis now. So that's awesome because before Enderminis would literally just wreck me because I could hardly even hit their frame. Now I just walk into him, boom, dead. So I like it. Being overpowered is fun. Um I think we have everything that we need from in there. Um, so I'm not sure what else I want to do for the rest of this episode. So we have, we have a good farm going now. That's pretty cool. Uh, there's not a good way for me to speed it up quite yet. So I'll probably wait till I get into Batania for that. I was gonna actually get into Batania this episode, but I uh, just I don't think I'm quite ready to get into Batania. <clears throat> to get in Bata into Batania. But I am thinking about getting into some. What is it? Um, oh, I'm thinking about making an ender quarry. Because I think I actually might have the materials to make one. And it would be nice to get one up. So it's actually not that hard to make. I'm going to need a few diamonds, which I think I actually have. I might not have enough diamonds. I'm, I don't have a few. How many do I have? Ooh, I only have nine diamonds. So. I will have to get a few more diamonds, I'm thinking. Uh, oh yeah, I'm probably going to need more diamonds. Actually, I'm not going to need more diamonds. So the only real problem with an ender quarry is these. And I'm going to need enchanted books for magic wood. So what I'm thinking about is I'm going to... Oh yeah, that is why I got these cows. And Okay, so I have two cows. I'm actually going to set up a feeding station, I think. Because it's a easy way to go ahead and automatically feed my pets or my cows. And then it doesn't use power. So I'm going to set up one of those. I'm going to show you guys how to make it. And then I'm going to go ahead and set up a little pen for them. Uh, feeding. Oh, there it was. Feeding sta or feed station. So I'm going to need some golden carrots. Uh, steel plate. Uh, we're going to have to do that. But um, I'll be right back in a second when I'm ready to make this thing. Alright guys, so I got the stuff to make a rolling machine, which I'm going to need to make, or I'm going to need, oh, don't throw that on the ground. Alright, um, I think I'm going to have to hook power up to this, so, maybe not. How do you run? Oh, I need a crowbar. How do I make a crowbar? Actually, I found one in the thing, but I don't think they're that hard to make, otherwise I would just go grab that. Oh, well it opened anyways. Well, I don't really need to move it. Alright, so... I'm going to see... Go back to the feed station. Feed. Alright, um, so... I need a steel plate, which... So we either need steel ingots or re find iron blocks. What's the easiest way to... An induction smelter. We need one of those. Alright, so let's look at getting an induction smelter. Um... Doesn't matter which one. We're gonna get this one because that one requires other stuff. All right. So to get one of these, wait, do I have one of these? No, I don't. Never mind. Um. So we need a couple copper gears. We need one of these, some invar, and a machine frame. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab all the stuff I need to get that, and I'll be back in a second. Alright, so I should now have everything I need to make one. So here we go, and we got it. If it will. Okay, maybe we don't. Um, oh, yeah, I haven't put the end bar in here. Alright, um, now we got it. Go ahead and throw that iron back in there. Um, I'll grab half of that. <clears throat> Alright, so we're just going to put our induction smelter right next to it. Um, Actually, we're gonna make a crowbar. How do I make a crowbar? 
So we need to move that. Uh, crowbar. Uh, maybe it's one word. Yeah, it is one word. Alright, so there's some iron and some red dye. So we have some red dye actually. And here. Alright. So oh, didn't mean to do that. So we'll make one of these really quick. Alright, now we got a crowbar. And we should be able to just right click this. No, maybe it's shift right click. Oh, we just break it. Alright. So we're gonna need to break that block. I just lost it, but whatever. Um, and we need to hook this thing up to our power, so just throw one of those there, and there we go. Now it's getting power. Alright, so now we need to make some of that steel stuff. We'll go back to our feed station just to look to see exactly what it was. We can find iron. Was that it? I don't think that was it. Um, yeah, that was it. There we go. Okay, so just iron and charcoal. I'm sure you can use normal coal too. Uh, Alright guys, so I just realized that I forgot a very important part to my build. So that part would be the fact that I did not make it input to the, um, what would it be, the, oh, the freaking planter. <clears throat> so I needed to input to that first before it inputs to the chest. That way I can fill up uh, the buffers or whatever in there. And I will uh, be able to, uh, that way it doesn't end up running out of supplies to plant. So real quick, I'm going to run over here and go ahead and connect it to this side. If it won't take forever. Alright, so there we go. And then just should just have to run some item conduits. Condu Do I have my Yetta wrench? Alright, we're going to set this to active without always active um, no we want it to insert we want it to be priority number one though on insert and then these should be also the green channel yeah they are green alright so we're gonna run that down to here and then we should I uh, do need to yeah it should be on right <clears throat> alright so now what we should see is um stuff going into there. Um, I'm gonna sneak up here really quick if it won't take forever to break stuff. Um, I'm just gonna use this. That doesn't help <laughs> at all. It's still like the same. I need to make a really overpowered sho uh, not shower. Shovel. Ah, I didn't mean to break that. Whoops. Alright. Okay, so now what we should see. Um, I'm gonna go back into normal person mode. Um, it should be going into here whenever something's broken. Hopefully. I don't know. Um, but anyways, so that should be it. Um, I'm going to pause it. Oh yeah, and look at my freaking cows. I had to turn the sound down. Hopefully it's not, like, even hearable. But yeah, that's freaking... That is a lot of freaking cows. That's kind of ridiculous. I've already killed them twice. So I'm going to probably have to turn that off every now and then. Because that's like overwhelming my wheat farm. Um, so I'm not sure if this is working. I'm gonna grab some bone meal really quick. I think I need to make a watering can. <clears throat> watering can would help out a lot. All right, so we're just gonna throw it on this. So did that go in here? All right, so there should be some more potatoes in here. Uh, maybe not. Uh, I'm pretty sure I did that right. Maybe I'm collecting them. I might have collected them. Alright, let's just, like, use it on a bunch of stuff. <clears throat> stuff. Jesus, my voice just... Like, it wasn't bad earlier. Now it's freaking getting bad again. I don't know. Hopefully it'll stop pretty soon. Alright, so that should be breaking them. Pretty soon. And hopefully these numbers will not go up. If these numbers don't go up... That is a good sign because that means it's going there first. So I'm going to watch these for a second. I do not believe these went up. So let's check in here. Alright, they went up. So this is fully operational now. And that's good. So see you guys in the next part because this is 
record it afterwards. So, see you guys. Alright guys, I'm back. Sorry my Minecraft went ahead and decided to crash on me. So, yeah, that sucks. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and place the rolling machine right here. And as I was doing the induction smelter, I believed I needed iron and coal. So, uh, actually I forgot my coal thing is now down here. <clears throat> We need to get some, a wood farm going on pretty soon because I need some freaking actually how much of this do I need? Uh, I think I just need four pieces so um, let's just grab four pieces uh, my right click doesn't work with the crap alright uh, throw that in I want to go in four um, maybe it does have to be charcoal um, let me see. Reinforced iron ingots. Ah, it could be cold powder. Um, I guess we'll just make some cold powder then. That won't be too hard. I'll just throw this a couple pieces in here. Uh, one more. And then it'll come out there. Uh, so I'll be back whenever that's all done. Alright, so I have all of that now. Just making sure it was recording. And just throw that in there, and I'll be back whenever all that's done. So I'll be right back, guys. Alright, guys, that stuff is done, and I'm just going to throw it in the rolling machine. Just like that, and click to craft. Do I right click it? I'm clicking it. I'm clicking it. Um, it says click to craft. I'm clicking it. Um, I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll be back in a second. Alright, it seems to be some kind of glitch or something, so I'm just going to go into NEI really quick. I mean, not NEI, but yeah, NEI. Uh, just put on cheat mode for just a second. Go ahead and give myself one of these steel plates. Alright, and go back into that. Uh, not that. Put that back on. Go to that, and put it on recipe mode if I can stop going over it. There we go. And there we go. And I'll just get rid of these. Um, I'll just, I don't even know what to do with them. Uh, I'll just throw them out here somewhere. I don't really need them. Alright, there we go. That way it's technically even. I'm not going to pick them up. That's not really worth picking up to me. Alright, um, so now that that's done, I'm going to throw this in here. And now we should be able to make um, a feed station. Uh, we're gonna need some golden carrots actually first, but I'm uh, I'm not sure how to make golden carrots actually. All right, so that's really easy actually. Um, grab four of those. I'm going the wrong way. <clears throat> uh, just grab a few gold. I don't need that much. Probably only need I need a uh, two of them worth. Do that. Place those in the middle. And actually, I didn't need more, but. I'll just turn them all in the mugs. That's fine. <clears throat> fine. That is fine. Oh my gosh, my voice has been terrible these past few days. Alright, um, I actually need more wood. We really need a wood farm. That'd be awesome. I'll probably work on that next episode. So that'll be really fun. Okay, so now that we have a feeding station, I believe this feeds around a 3x3 three three area. So we're going to need some fences. I'm going to go ahead and just build this up because this part's going to be pretty boring. So we're just going to do this off camera. I'll be back in just a second, guys. All right, guys. So I'm about halfway done with this, but I just want to show you guys how awesome this thing is. Watch this. Wait, what? What? I got robbed. That should have easily one hit, one hit him. But whatever. Still two shot in him right now. Uh, he must have had some on him. But anyways, while I am here... <clears throat> If my voice won't freaking be retarded. I don't know why it's doing that again. It should be better, but hopefully by tomorrow I will be sounding good again. But anyways, I have this golden lasso. So just to show you guys, oh, no, it's not good. No, I don't know how to. Oh yeah, it's recipe. Duh. R. All right. So all you need is an eye vendor, which is just a ender pearl with a blaze thingy, and then nuggets and string. And I'm just gonna show you guys what this does. You can grab up a cow and just pick him up and place him down. So it's pretty cool. Um, so we're just trying to kind of take some of this fence. 
I'm gonna grab one of these cows up so he doesn't run away. And then I'm trying to kind of like destroy this fence. Hopefully the other cow doesn't run away too far. He might, he might stay around this area and that's gonna be good. That's what we're hoping for. I'm gonna make a 9x9 nine nine area. Not sure what the requirement is for this thing, but 9x9 nine nine is fine really. Uh, I might have to make it smaller at some point, but I think it'll be good for now. Um, I will eventually set up an automatic uh, thing to kill it. Um, I'm not sure. Did I make this long enough? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Alright, so... Nah, that didn't need to go there. Alright, there we go. That's going to break like a bunch of them, but oh well. I can replace them. <clears throat> Yeah, no, stop it. Really, I just, oh my gosh. Okay, so now if it will stop freaking placing things in the wrong freaking spots. Alright, uh, we should have a fence gate. There we go. Place that there. There we go. So now we'll set our cow in there. Go over here, steal this cow. Alright, uh, there we go. And we'll set our feeding station up. Um, here we go. Place this in the middle. How do I get in? I'm gonna need to set that up to be automatic or something. I don't know. Okay, one, two, it should be here. I think. Yeah, lag. One, two, three. One, two, three. Alright. Now we need to put some weed in it. Uh, get back. Ah, Jesus. Oh, uh, we only have two weed in there right now, so we're not gonna grab it out of that. Gosh, my right click is so bad. I'm gonna have to get a new mouse. I just got this one, but it is pretty cheap, so it doesn't surprise me too much that it's not very good. Uh, I guess I'll be back in a second. It looks like it crashed. Gosh damn it. Um, I don't know. I don't know what just happened. I might have accidentally still recorded. But whatever. Uh, so we're just going to grab some wheat, and we'll throw that into the thing over here. <clears throat> I will eventually set it up to be automatic. Gosh dang it, cow, screw off. Alright, so we can just throw a stack in there, and it should automatically feed them. And eventually we will have a bunch of babies in there, and then we'll just kill them automatic or not automatically, manually for just a little bit, because we will need some leather. But, um, I think that's about it. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and destroy the rest of this fence real quick, because that needs to go. Alright, and now that's gone. Um, so yeah, I like this golden lasso. It's a pretty cool tool. That's how I actually got my cows over here. Uh, I think we're going to move this at some point. Probably make it automatic, or automated. Um, I didn't have to move my nether wart farm to make this here, but that's alright. Okay, so I think this episode's been pretty good. We actually accomplished probably a lot compared to what we normally accomplish. We got pretty much, pretty, er, gosh, if I can talk. <laughs> we got an automated farm. So that's awesome. And then we got a semi automatic uh, steak and leather station. I don't even know what to call it. But a feeding station that's completely automatic. So that's awesome. But um, besides that, guys, I think that's about it for this episode. And thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time on my Dire Wolf 20s Feed the Beast Let's Play mod pack. I nailed it. See you guys next time. Go ahead and like and subscribe. And.